If you're tired of music matches bloated in your face and you don't want to shell out money for a simple MP3 encoder, then you should try out today's free file. We've been recommending it for at least two years now. Two, three years. Three years, maybe. CDEX. CDEX. It's the all-in-one CD Ripper MP3 encoder. It does a great job. It does a great job. And as you can see, I popped in the CD right here. So because it's an audio CD, you don't... It just shows up there like that. Yeah, and if you want, you can go to CDDB and then pull up uh, the the name and the uh, album. CDDB is the online database of, of and it, what you know. It's funny people don't people think oh there's some magic number on the CD no. that it looks like. That's not how CDDB works. It's actually, from what I understand, it picks up the first few uh, uh, seconds of the track on the album. Oh, it that's, does. That's why when you when you pull it up, there's you know people can list different things and they give you a, an option. But that's, I it, thought now. I thought it was adding up the times and saying, well, there's only a few albums that have 15 tracks of this length. Well, anyway, in any case, it doesn't always work, but it often... Go ahead and try it. Uh, well, actually, I was trying it before, and for some reason, it we, doesn't can't, know this we CD? can't... Because it uses... Uh, it's connecting... We're trying to oh. connect to the free DDB, which oh. is the CDDB, the free version, oh, okay. where everyone kind of open sources okay. their own uh, album. I, I actually prefer that to CDDB. And what's yeah. kind of cool is if I go over here, see this, this tab right here, Encoder? Mm -hmm. I can select... Not only from MP3, but a myriad of Look other encoders, including the Odd Vorbis, which, which is a very good, which is a very good uh, music compressor. Yeah, yeah. And if I want, I can actually select uh, the uh, bit rate, so I don't have to leave it at 128, which is the average bit rate most people have. It's kind of low, though. We it's like a little higher. Generally, you know, I keep it at 320, but most people for anything. Of decent quality, leave it at 160. 160 to 192 to me is yes, sufficient. And then once you're ready to go, you just ne merely need to select the tracks that you want to encode and select the button that extracts CDs to compressed audio, uh, compressed and audio bump, and it rips it and actually have it right. It's absolutely free here on the desktop. There they are. There's the MP3s. Very that. simple to do, and it outputs it straight into a folder of your choosing. CDEX. So he's still doing that. He's still doing it. And you know, stopped. it's actually a very good application. I still use it on occasion. I, st I use e exact audio copy more just because I often want to do a mix CD. Right. And I want to get the best possible uh, wave extraction. Now it's on SourceForge, which means he's gone open source with it, which is great. I think that's wonderful. Albert Farber, was that his name? Uh, yeah. That's great. So, uh, and a, a Faber, that's it. Albert Faber. Faber. No worries. So highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a good ripper. Simple, it's, it's no, no uh, problem, you know, but it gets the job done. It's one of the few applications that I've seen that's both simple but very, very sophisticated and effective. Right. Also, apparently, one of the most downloaded programs on SourceForge.net. Source well, I like that. Thank you.